decided to give a little backstory on today's video. So randomly, me and my friends decided, you know what, let's go down to southern Wisconsin. So you know what, that's exactly what we did. Anyways, we had to get there, so I guess uh, my favorite type of video to record and edit, travel montage. Oh yeah. I think I'm lost. <laughs> I think it looks nice. It looks cool. Oh, Am I? Who's above me? That does sound like a blackbird. Please don't jump me. I've been jumped enough. That's an older tree too, or a younger tree. It's in quite a rough shape. <laughs> All the way up there. I'm terrified of him. What are you mewing? Mewing? <laughs> what are you mooing about over there? There's cows all all over around here. And there's just this bird. Just chilling. Cheeping at us. Cheeping. These here are Formica Montana. I've never, I don't actually, they aren't exactly in northern Wisconsin, so it's very rare to see them. If I really wanted to, I could probably collect this colony, actually. Because they have queens inside of their mounds almost constantly. That's so cool. Amazing. More Formica Montana. This mountain's actually active, though. It's even just cover this area. Again, 
If I actually brought the collection equipment, I could probably collect this colony, but I didn't. Because I left it in the car. Womp womp, womp, womp indeed. Boop. Just make him angry. Try to make up these birds are pretty. How close will you let me get? Not very. Whoa! Look at that. I think it was a late, a late pupae there. Tons of them. It's a bigger mound too. Compared to my, oh, hold on. Gotta zoom out. Compared to my hand. Ah! I shake them off. These guys are really, really polygynous as well, so... They definitely, uh, have a few thousand, a few hundred thousand workers, probably. A couple queens. Pretty cool. The field is just covered in their mounds, too, so... Yeah. Again, sadly, I didn't bring my collection stuff, so... Yeah. Here we got ourselves some Formica Palatifulva group. Sweet. Hopefully there will be more interesting stuff. So far only Montana, now Palatifulva. So let's hope for more. Woo! Look at all these caterpillars. It's kind of chilling out. There is. That guy's, that guy's floating. Then down here, what do we got? Oh. We got ourselves some Chromatogaster. Looks like uh, not Sarasi. These are the other species that I'm blanking on. I don't remember their name. I'll probably pop it up because I'll probably remember in editing, but I do not remember it right now. Oh, wait, no, I think these are. No, these are Sarasi. These are just red guys, I think. I'm kind of bad at IDing them, but look at that. Are they not? I don't know. I'll get an actual ID. <laughs> they're all over the lawn. There's more on this side. Like hundreds. Of them. Yeah, they're probably. These guys hunt a lot. Oh my! They have their colony up here for sure. Wow. Look at Pretty. all the fuzzy caterpillars. <laughs> wow. Got ourselves some myrmica. Freeze frame time because I do believe these here are a Finnegaster tree day or some other type of a Finnegaster. These guys are definitely not Myrmica. Sand prairie ones too, so these guys are generally more aggressive than what they normally would be in non sand prairie areas. Could be Myrmica spatulata? I'm not sure. All I know is that there's a species here that is stupidly aggressive when you uncover their nests. Yeah. Oh. No, come back. Come back. <laughs> I'm not sure as to what species this is, but I do believe this is some type of integrid group. I think. Is it there? It's maybe Dephyllus. I'm not sure. But it's it's parasitic formica. I think I think it's Stephylus or something. Because that does look a little bit different than the integral group that I'm used to seeing. Another freeze frame. So these guys are not integral group or Dephyllus. These are Execta group. These are uh, Formica Exectoides. Uh, these guys are really common within like sand forts and all that, which is kind of like an area that we were in. However, um, it wasn't exactly thought that they were actually at this specific location, so uh, it was a little bit of a random find, and it would explain why I was so confused when it came to trying to ID them. <laughs> However, I'm unsure. Nice. Here we got ourselves a Lacey's Parasite of some sort. I'm not sure as to what species, 
Again, I'll have to ID it. I don't really get many of these at all. Very sure though. What I do know is that it's pretty dang cool. Nice. And of course, I wasn't expecting to see this, but I got a cicada. This is the first time I've ever laid sights on one. A live one at that. Yeah, yeah, a live one at that. I've never even seen a dead one before. That is so cool. And there was also an ant colony that I needed to record, which I'm going to Here is Forelius prunosus. These guys are a really pretty ant species, only really found inside of the sandy areas in Wisconsin. Uh, honestly, if I really wanted to, I could probably get a colony from this. But I don't, I don't really want one, so we're just going to leave them be. But yeah, these guys are really cool. They're tiny little guys. Dolly Coderne. And uh, not very common here in Wisconsin at all. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty. There's Laceus Americanus here on the top of the, of the ridge here. Accidentally disturbed their nest. Kind of feel bad. <laughs> so after checking out the wildlife within and around uh, Spring Green and its preserve, we decided to go ahead and end the day on climbing up the bluff and checking out the absolutely beautiful site at the top. Now, of course, after this, we decided to hike back down. And pretty much from there, we decided to go back to our hotel in Dodgeville sleep and begin the next day. It's here in Nylanderia. That's really cool. I've never actually seen a colony of these guys before. Neato. Oh, they looks like their queen might have been above, above ground for a little bit there. Huh. Sweet. Cool. Time to see. Oh, yeah. Warm gets up, Teresia. From the looks of it. Well, oh. got ourselves here some Formica Pallida Fulva. Beautiful. Super, super pretty. Still looking for the hog nose, though. Here's uh, some Finnegaster. Their queen was just above ground, but I missed her by a little bit. That sucks. Not much I can do about it, though. Sad. Here we have Caponatus chromides. It's one of the only locations that Caponatus chromides exist here in Wisconsin. I accidentally uncovered one of their small little nests. But yeah, there are nests under here. Let's see if I can get another. Uh, I don't think I can. But yeah, they're nesting under here. As you can see. That's cool. Never thought I'd see them before. Hmm. Neat. And after finding some pretty neat ant species, of which that I wouldn't have really seen otherwise if I didn't go down to southwestern Wisconsin, we decided to head back up to our great home in northern Wisconsin. Now, of course, uh... I hope to get down here again sometime because the amount of different species that exist down here in southwestern Wisconsin compared to north northern Wisconsin is insane. It is a very different anting environment. Uh, however, hopefully here soon I will be back down here not to go anting, but to get picked up to go down to Arizona. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video if you liked it. Just give it a dislike. Subscribe if you're new. Check out all the channel stuff in the description. Check out, you know subscribe check out the discord server check out the patreon check out the instagram check out all that fun stuff and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye